All right, so uh, it took me a little bit of a while to start recording this one, but that's because I was talking with uh, MDB about it. So I asked him about the sustainability of Lucky Cat, so he's definitely pretty sure that it's not going to last. Uh, but that being said, I, we're trying to figure out, or I was trying to figure out how long it might. So I gave an estimate of like two to three months, but... Uh, like MDB said, it all depends on how the dev is going to market the thing, if at all. Because uh, he said it's not the first time he's seen multi-chain minor projects like Lucky Cat, you know, pop up and then die pretty quick because you're spreading money across different user bases. Uh, like you say, he could be wrong, but <clears throat> he's the only person with that much experience, and I obviously have to try to figure this out. So... So I guess for now, I'm going to leave Lucky Cat stuff on my playlist, but I might consider actually pulling it out, even though I'm still obviously in the project and doing just fine, right, so far. So so what would I actually do? Um, <coughs> based on what he said, anything greater than 3% is actually what's going to kill the project. So baked beans... BNB Miner, and actually, funny enough, BUSD Lucky Cat might actually be okay, because Lucky, because BUSD Lucky Cat, and I guess to a lesser degree, BNB Lucky Cat too, but that's actually like 7%, so that's eventually going to also have a problem too, uh, assuming uh, the percentages are too high. Uh, you know, those might be the projects that might remain on the playlist uh, in due time, because I don't really plan on investing baked beans right now. In fact, if I go to bnbminer.finance, I mean, I'm probably perfectly fine just staying in this one because this is basically the exact same thing. It's 3% daily. I'm already in this, so why would I have another window open? All right. In fact, I actually see the BNB contract going up a little bit too. So it's, pre it's pretty sustainable, pretty sustainable. So uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway, this is the big kahuna himself, uh, Baked Beans. In fact, I'd actually think this thing went up 15 Binance coins, I think. So this thing just keeps going up. The TVL is basically like $11 million, because obviously crypto's coming back, kind of, sort of. Yeah. So we'll see how that plays out. Stock markets are doing pretty well. I mean, kind of, there's, there's just too much selling pressure, so it's got to do the reverse at some point. Right? Things don't go straight up, but things also don't go straight down. Unless it's crypto pro unless it's a cryptocurrency project and it's a relatively small new project. Oh yeah, then that could definitely go straight down. So so this has <clears throat> so this actually has a I thought this was a five percent fee. Okay, so I got confused. So this is actually an eight percent daily APR, but this actually has a debt fee of only three percent. Now that being said, it's actually pretty attractive because it's still, you know, a very high TVL. So it's pretty obvious to me that the dev is actually doing something with this three percent. It's doing really, really well. So I mean, there's really not much to say about these minor projects, and I kind of want to do other things. So I'm probably going to end the video right here. Uh, obviously, check out BakedBeans.io. This is probably BNB. BNB Miner Finance. I forgot to mention Ruby Mine. Obviously, I'll be in that one. That'll be pretty sustainable because obviously they have like some kind of anti whatever mechanism. Uh, so what should I call it? So Ruby Mine, Baked Beans, maybe Lucky Cat Binance uh, Coin, but Lucky Cat BUSD. Those should be the five projects that I think should be able to last. Right, because there's some kind of like you know way to basically deal with the crazy you know daily APR returns, all right? Because like I said, these are all basically like Ponzi schemes, but everything's a Ponzi scheme, right? Including well, yeah, including really stock markets and real estate and whatever, right? Because people agree that has value, and then they just give you your money based more or less on faith, right? And for the most part, as long as people maintain faith, it'll always be worth quote unquote something, right? Like the West is actually figuring out that finding that out the hard way, right? Because everyone's just forgetting about the U.S. dollar and going with Russia and China, right? Just particularly China, because people have more faith in Chinese people, thank God, uh, than the West, right? Because the West just does whatever they want and breaks any agreement at any time, at any random time. Like, you can't deal with someone like that. And they constantly push, you know, anal degeneracy on everyone, right? People don't like that, right? You know, so...
So it's like, you know what? Don't want to deal with the fucking Americans. I'm going to go with China. All right? Chinese people, very nice, very polite. You know, they don't cause us trouble, and they know how to make money. So, of course, it's the obvious choice. So, I don't know. Well, so that's, pro that's pretty much what the world is doing. So... So anyway, uh, oh, and they've actually graciously gave Andre Wang a uh, Chinese domain name for the Daily Wire. So I don't know how long that'll last. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Everything is proceeding exactly as it should be. So, all right. So that's pretty much it. Tomorrow I'll cover the rest of the Lucky Cat stuff. Um, there's also a new one called DiamondMine.Money. But it's a new minor product. could be a scam. I haven't heard anyone say anything about it. In fact, uh, I guess we could go there right now. See if the website's still there. Uh, okay, so they're an AVAX version. Uh, they have a deposit fee. So this is probably a Ruby Mine fork. <sighs> okay. Uh, where is their white paper? Oh. Black Giancinta 98 tinysite Talk about how fucking cheap can you be. I would not want to it. It makes it worse. I can't even read this shit. Uh, okay. Um, okay. 6% fees on invest and sale of diamonds. Right. So the, so the deposit fee is really a developer fee. 6% clean all fees, you won't be charged for reinvestment. So you only pay 6% when you withdraw, so that's good. So this is actually a 2%. So you grow at 8% a day, but you lose 2%. Okay. So so far, I don't really see anything. I, I haven't heard anyone say this is a scam, per se. Meaning, like, honeypot kind of thing. I mean, he's still, I mean, he's still shilling this stuff. Yeah, okay. Alright, so, alright, we'll add this to the queue for tomorrow then. Perfect. Alright, so anyway, uh, if you have to pick one project, it would be either Ruby Mine or this one. Alright? Uh, but I would probably pick Baked Beans over Ruby Mine, because I didn't know about this project until way later. So, uh, you know, simply because you're still, mer you're still getting 5% out of your 8% when you withdraw only, so you're still compounding at 8% a day. These are the biggest guys out there. And on top of it's on Binance Smart Chain. So you don't have to worry about gas fees, which is so this is like a no brainer, right? So I don't know, I'm already in quite a lot of minor projects already. So I won't be putting my thing into baked beans. Uh, but with that being said, you know, if and when I do move into baked beans, because chances are Lucky Cat's gonna have some implosion somewhere, <laughs> right? You know, I guess the cat does not have nine lives after all then, you know, obviously I'll be looking into, uh, so actually I still would not do BNB miner. I would actually do, uh, I can sign this. So I would actually do, uh, whatchamacallit, hold on, concentrate on this freaking game here. So I would actually do big themes because this would be the highest sustaining thing. And then technically a uh, Ruby one would be better, but uh, I, can't, I can only withdraw once a week, so liquidity is going to be a problem, right? Because a lot can happen in crypto in one week. In fact, it happens a lot in one day. And on top of that, I don't know when Krabata Games is going to get the hell off of freaking AVAX. They said early May, but to be honest, they're just going to fucking just keep delaying and delaying. It's like they're just pissed. It's, they're just so fucking annoying about the fucking gas fee. What is, what is it right now? What is the fucking gas fee? Yeah, like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Man, fuck you, Kabato, man. Just get the fuck out already. You know, it's, I, I just... Uh, it's like, I really cannot stand Layer 1 technology, man. I really wish Ethereum would hurry up and create their freaking scaling. Because obviously scaling is such a huge problem. But obviously everyone's doing the best they can, so I actually can't get angry. But, you know, it, it's nice. It's only once in a while I complain about something. I mean, just for the sake of complaining. But, alright. Well, whatever. It, it's just how it goes, so... I'm definitely done for the day. I'm going to play my games. I got, like, I didn't even eat yet. The weather sucks outside. I think it stopped raining, so I don't know. I'll go for my walk later.
And um, I will not be adding this video to the playlist, but I will probably at some point in the future, specifically after Lucky Cat dies, so maybe a month or two out. So make sure you just check back with the uh, playlist constantly, you know, because I'm out, because I, because obviously I'm out, I'm out on, you know, adding and sometimes removing projects, but mostly adding projects, all right? Um, but, you know, I'm making an exception for these minor projects, even though it's not generally my style, because I want something that lasts. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And like I said, I may remove a lot of the Lucky Cat projects, too, all right? And I'm only going to keep the BNB. Uh, I'm going to keep the BNB and BUSD version of Lucky Cat, because I think that those might survive. You know, we'll have to see. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share. You know, let's grow the channel. And again, thank you to all the new people that are you know coming in. So, um, how many how many subscribers are there anyway? Because I think because I'm above thirteen hundred now. I think. Yeah, we're at thirteen oh five. So thank you to everybody. Yeah. I don't know. Where does everyone come from? Like, there's just like uh, the YouTube thing. Just like it, it just comes in bursts. I don't know. Well, I guess that makes sense. So everyone's busy, and then they come home, and then they just watch whatever, right? Yeah, works for me. All right. So I didn't actually realize this is actually 3%, three, not 5 So Because I was doing 8 minus 3, and that probably confused me. So you're actually making 5% when you withdraw. So this would actually be the most profitable for me. Maybe I should put 1,000 or 2,000. I better not say real numbers. Maybe I should put in uh, some, some change in the baked beans after all. I don't know. I'll figure it out. See you all tomorrow. Thanks.